Hey guys, so today I am doing a kind of commentary gameplay over thing. Mostly because I just don't really like being in front of the camera too much. Because, um, number one, I look like a fucking potato. And including right now, I look like shit. And I feel like making a video, so I just thought I'd just do it over gameplay and just talk about something that I want to talk about. So yeah, I wanted to get into my thoughts of Montage of Heck of the movie. For me, it felt very filtered. And the thing that really bothered me, including with like Kurt's mom, she was like, he had to be born and all this stuff. And she made it seem like he had a prophecy or something, which leads to that whole legend man of myth thing, which I really don't think Kurt would have liked to be depicted as. So that bothered me. I was like, uh no like no he was just he, he he was just like anybody else he just happened to be really talented and had like he had one of those like I remember his sister was like oh he had a genius brain I'm like what the fuck is a genius brain anyway like <laughs> you know I felt like a lot of it the one thing personally I think really I hold heart dearly in my opinion and this is based on everybody else's opinion I honestly think Kurt had bipolar disorder. It was just, there's too many stories I've heard from other people that show the signs of that illness. And it's just so, it's just mind boggles me that no one could figure it out what was wrong with him. And it was like pretty fucking clear what was wrong with him. But again, you know, it's not like people had access to the internet or anything like that. So it was kind of just like everybody just thought, blew it off and just thought, oh, he just had the depression gene or something because suicide ran in his family. But I don't know. It's just for me, it rubbed me the wrong way. And I felt like Brett Morgan took a bunch of Kurt's art and just filtered it in his own way and put it in a film. I, I don't know. I just feel like Kurt would have been like not very <laughs> approved by like the film itself I feel like he would have thought it was like ridiculous to some extent and very faked and I don't know I feel like the only honest person in the interviews fully honest person in the interviews was like Chris how he talked about how Kurt hated to be ridiculed and all that other stuff like that was the only real honest thing I got out of that film everything else seemed very like cut and paste of like whatever people wanted to think of him and had this legend of man of myth bullshit going on that I didn't like. Yeah, it just it just rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like the way it was set up. Again, it felt more like it was like Kurt's art and like someone filtered it through their own filter. The thing, the one movie that I really like about Kurt is Kurt Cobain about a son because everything's kind of straight from him, regardless if he could be lying or not, which is another debacle... <laughs> That's a part of this film. You know, Buzz Osborne came forward and said, oh, no, the whole story about him and the, the you know, the mentally challenged girl and trying to get the beer was a fake story and him trying to kill himself was that wasn't that wasn't real. The truth is, there's a lot of sources that say, yeah, he tend to exaggerate things. And there's also some people that say, yeah, you know, like he was lying about this and he was telling it just seemed like to me he told a lot of people different things. And the only person who knew the truth was Kurt. And unfortunately, Kurt can't sit here and just tell everybody straight out what the fuck the truth was. And that's the part that's a little hard to get down to. And I don't know. I just felt like it didn't really give Kurt much of a voice. It gave more of an outsider's look on Kurt, which I didn't really care for. I like Kurt Cobain about a son because it was straight from him. It was what he kind of thought of the world and how his mind kind of functioned. And... Including when I talk about how Kurt clearly had bipolar disorder and like I don't care what you think you can think he didn't or did not I believe like 99% this guy had bipolar disorder because the symptoms are just so much fucking there it's ridiculous but the one thing I remember Kim saying which is Kurt's sister she was saying oh he had that genius brain it just kept going on and on that's a sign of bipolar disorder is when you have something constantly going on in your brain. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. That's a part of bipolar disorder. And I know this because personally, I have bipolar disorder. And your brain, when you're manic, goes off like 5,000 speeds of light. 
and you're like, oh my God, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do it. Like, it's just like you have all these ideas, you know, and, and it's, sometimes it's hard to finish them. Kurt could get quite a bit finished, but I feel like music obviously was an outlet for dealing with his illness as well. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just, <clears throat> it's just my opinion. Again, I'm not saying anything is factual or real with my opinion. It's just an opinion, obviously. So, but that's just my thoughts about Kurt Cobain montage of heck film. I just didn't feel like it was really authentic. I felt like it was just some regurgitation of, you know, Kurt Cobain, legend, the myth, the depressed junkie. You know, it's just like, like Kurt wouldn't want to be remembered as that. I remember Kurt saying in an interview that he blatantly just wants to be remembered as a guy who made good music, you know, who created great songs. That's it by the end of the day. I don't know. I just felt like some fucking weird ass art project someone made about Kurt Cobain and they happened to interview some of the people he knew and <laughs> it was just, I don't know. I didn't like it. Anyway, that is what I thought of the film. And if you agree with anything or if you even have your own different opinions of maybe what you didn't like about Kurt Cobain, montage of heck or what you did or whatever feel free to comment below about whatever you think about it these are just my thoughts about the whole thing i almost forgot if you know my instagram i said i was gonna stop making videos on here i'm probably not i just again my schedule hasn't been very consistent with uploading i'm just gonna upload whenever i feel like it basically the main thing i'm gonna be trying to work on is actually um kind of making my own mini documentary on both sides of the, the whole scenario of Kurt's death, basically. You know, looking at it at both sides, looking at reasons why he could have killed himself and other reasons why he may have, there may have been something else involved. You know, he might have been killed by somebody, da 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 da. And I'm really gonna work really hard on research and stuff. It probably it won't be released until like maybe a year or two from now. I'm hoping it will be at least 30 minutes long, at least. But there's a lot of information about all the stuff and trying to go over it. So it might be like a type of movie thing, like almost like an hour and a half or something like that. And if that's the case, then I'll just um, probably post on Vimo or v v v Vimo. Is that Vemo? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. I'm still debating whether how long. It really depends on how everything turns out. But yeah, I'm going to be really trying to get down to an unbiased prospect of both sides of the story for what people to kind of just give an analyzation of where people can actually look at both sides and decide where they stand in the situation of Kurt's death yeah so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing I'm be doing a lot of research it's gonna take a lot of time it's probably gonna take a year or two to make but in the meantime while I'm still making that as my main project I will still be doing trying to post other videos on this channel as well it won't be just be like I disappear for a year and then <laughs> and then I like come back with this one long ass video um I will try to post other stuff as well in here on this channel as well and oh and I should say thanks for 600 subscribers thanks for watching until next time goodbye would you mind if I approach you with this song, may I tell you that I've watched you How very long that I've watched you from afar